Okay, here's how you view an eclipse with pinhole projection. Two pieces of plain white paper. I use this toothpick to make that small hole in the paper. That's about the right size, a toothpick size hole. Hold the one without the hole in the shade of the one with the hole and you can see a little blob of light. As I move the sheets of paper farther apart, the blob of light gets bigger. As you can see, I have a pages about two or three feet, three feet apart to get that size image. That's not just a blob of light, it's actually an image of the sun, as you could see in the event of an eclipse, but today it's just a round dot. Or, if you have plain old reading glasses, like you can buy for ten bucks at the supermarket, you can use them to project an image of the sun. Those are images of the sun, one from each lens in the glasses. The lower the power of the glasses, the bigger the image of the sun will be. It sounds backwards, but that's the way it works. These are 1.75 strength glasses. The lower 1.25 strength glasses would make a slightly larger image. But it's pretty bright. So I like to project it from these onto black construction paper that makes it a little bit less bright. Either one of those methods will work, and it's perfectly safe. You don't have to look at the sun and risk blindness.